A few days ago, I left my house in the UK and headed off on a trip that I've been dreaming about for years now. I've been making YouTube videos for nine years, and when I started out, it was never intended to become a job. I don't think it was particularly common back then. And even six or seven years ago now, when I decided to try and make it my job, I had about 20,000 subscribers. I was working as a PT with people locally. I was working with some people online, and I kind of had that dream that I was like, if I could do the thing that I love, which is teaching uh, and helping people, if I could do that anywhere, that would be amazing. But here we are in the present day, and that dream finally feels like it's come into fruition uh, and really like a new season of life. And I say season because I want this to be a new season of videos on this channel, uh, particularly these sort of vlog style videos that I haven't done for a few years now. And I really miss doing them because it's a more open, honest and authentic way to share. It shares the process, which is the really crucial part. And I thought I would invite you for the journey. I've got 12 week program that I've written for myself. Uh, I'm going to share the first phase will be in the description down below if you want to join along. That accountability then works both ways. I'm sharing videos of you but you can also let me know how you're getting on with your training in the comments section. What you're doing, what your plan is. This is the thing that I love most. The main focus for this year is to really just be able to do the things that I used to be able to do. Uh, I'm 10 months post labrum tear and my shoulder feels really good right now. I haven't got any pain got full range of motion and I feel like I can push myself and it's not as strong as I want to be. To start this off properly we need to start with assessing because if you don't assess then we're just guessing how do we know if we've got better if we don't know necessarily where we started. Let's see where things are at and uh, to do that we need to locate a nice tree to hang some rings. So I'm going to keep the testing relatively simple because this program is really just focused on building general ability to do work and strength. I'm going to choose the chin up and I'm also going to choose a pike push up. Chin ups are just chin ups, they're kind of the deadlift for the upper body uh, and the tempo is going to be one up, two seconds down and I'll have to then repeat that tempo again for the comparability factor later on. Doing max reps because again we're looking at how much work can be done improving general conditioning, more reps is good. If we can do more reps or something, that's generally also gonna mean that our overall strength is better. Oh, I think that was 14. 13 or 14. Um, I might could have got one more, but when doing max reps, I don't like to rest too much during the efforts because you could rest and probably grind like another two or three out. And I feel like it's just kind of cheating. You're almost like doing rest four sets. Just bang them out, how many you can do. That's the number. I'll take it, it's not bad. The pipe push-up I'm gonna use is the L handstand push-up. The reason for this is that it's the most measurable style of pike push-up because we have the feet at a set height, which means it's reasonably repeatable when you come back to test it. With a pike push-up normally, you can try to lean more, or you can do things in a way that you avoid load. The L handstand push-up kind of keeps everything a little bit more comparable. So I think that one was eight, maybe. Could have done a little bit better, I feel a little bit weaker in comparison to the chimps. Felt reasonably surprised at how strong I felt. Probably the only other thing that I do want to test is external rotation. That's for balancing out the shoulders as I had the labrum tear on the shoulder. I want to see what the strength is on the right versus the left and then look to improve that difference plus see some improvement over the next 12 weeks. But the main thing is to balance out and have both shoulders feeling equally as strong. All right, we've got five kilos here. I definitely can do more than this, but it feels like kind of the most that I can do on the bad arm. It just kind of feels a bit uncertain. Uh, and I'm happy to make, I'm happy to push less now and just see kind of where the next 12 weeks goes with this one. I was originally gonna go for an eight rep max, but that was 11 reps. Um, as I said, again, less, more load feels uncomfortable on the bad shoulder. Um, I mean, that was 20. I probably could have done another three. Probably not the best test in terms of to see like absolute strength gain between now and the end of the phase because it was just too easy on the test. So any improvement is going to be unfair, but it will be interesting to see the difference between sides like struggling to get 11 reps, doing 20 easy with five kilos. Like that's not a good difference. One or two reps, fine. 10, not good. <laughs> and then I also just want to see more out of interest than I think how many dips I can do on the same level was like more dips, more strength, more capacity. Same thing as more chins, 
more capacity, more strength. So, so probably not the best setup for parallel bar dips, but this is really the best option I have in the current location. So we're going to make do with the intention that things can only get better. I think that was 12. I probably could have got one, maybe two more, but not bad. I haven't trained dips in like the longest time. I, I don't think I've really trained dips in, in years. Um, and it's also the last thing that the shoulder, the labrum tear felt good enough to actually do. Before we jump into the flexibility assessments, I just want to mention today's sponsor, which is Vivo Barefoot, another long-standing part of my practice. In fact, the only shoes I've brought with me on this trip are the Motor Strength and the Forest Tracker for training and all the hiking that I've kind of been doing. The main reason I love these is because they just feel so natural. And when it's not socially acceptable for me to be barefoot, these are the next best option. So if you want to grab yourself a pair, there'll be a discount in the description down below. Uh, and thanks again. For this program, flexibility is not the priority. It's probably 80% strength, work capacity focused, and 20% is like building back flexibility. The main focus is going to be on front split and middle split. The reason I'm going for these two is that they cover so many different ranges of motion that by just focusing on two positions, we get gains in lots of different ranges. When it comes to testing this level of flexibility, the only rule I have is that we don't want to use too many warm-up sets because I can massively increase my range of motion by simply doing a couple of warm-up sets, whereas this maybe isn't a fair representation. So I use one warm-up set, second set is the testing set, and then we're going to use that as a baseline to improve. I was pretty happy with both levels of range of motion, and this is really because I've done a lot of the hard work in the past, and then all I've been doing is kind of the advice that I gave in this video, The Secret to Long Plan and Progress, which is essentially just creating a daily sort of routine, a short stretching routine, which helps just take that top level of rust and stiffness away and allow your body to kind of express its potential, and then you can develop from there. There isn't any upper flexibility goals listed here because it's not something I need to improve is perfectly adequate. However, I will be trying to work on my shoulder extension as again, this is related to that labrum tear and one of the ranges that was most limited after it. It probably is worth noting that this is a 12 week program. This is only the first four weeks. There probably will be some more flexibility focus as we get on, but for the moment, it's just about spending time in a stretch, in a position. General principle here, build up the amount of work that can be done and then you can do the fancy stuff. There's lots more that I want to talk to you about, but that's ultimately what the next few episodes are going to be for. And if you have anything in particular, let me know in the comment section uh, what you're interested in. But I will leave you with a clip from the first day of the workout, which I think kind of sums things up best. But I think uh, really what this program is about is getting a good pump. Um, the more people I've spoken to in this space, uh, a lot of people who have been doing it for a long time end up resolving back to that like bodybuilding S style of training, like having some functional strength based elements, but then following it up with like a good amount of high rep, high blood flow, just helps keep things feeling good, looking good, psychologically feeling good. I'm very excited for the next 12 weeks. Um, Feels like this has been a long time coming and I've really missed it. I'm glad to be back. And uh, as I said, I hope you join me. I look forward to sharing it with you. Catch you the next one.